everybody. This is Tim Henton from the Marching Roundtable. Today we're talking about best advice for a captain. Let's hear from the experts first. You need to be careful about how bossy you get. I've seen a lot of great kids lose friendships because they tried to be a junior instructor instead of trying to keep that levity. When the staff starts to get a little tense, it's your job to kind of go in and break the ice behind our backs so that we can keep everyone kind of happy at practice. Just be careful not to push your friends away. Be on your game every single moment of every single day. Okay, now let's hear what the panel has to say. Best advice for a captain. I gotta tell you, we have a captain right here. Janelle, you've been captain at Light Brigade for what, 45 years? No, I'm just no. <laughs> just, no, just 40. <laughs> I didn't mean to insinuate she was old, but I mean, you've been doing it a really long time. I really have, and I can say the number one thing is that all the members respect me as their captain, and you also have to give that back. Oh. You have to let them know you're there for them. You're kind of like the liaison between the members and the staff. And yeah. Yeah. they have to know that yeah. they can come to you for help. So I actually got a hoodie for Christmas that says the captain on oh, it. Okay. So everybody knows I am the you didn't captain. didn't have one before now. No, I am just shocked. the title. But yeah, it's definitely a respect thing and to be friendly, welcoming. They have to know that they can come to you if they can't come to anybody else. That's great. As one of the most recognizable people in Color Guard, I think Janelle <laughs> is in that category and everyone knows her as the captain of the Light Brigade. Yeah. What kind of responsibility do you think that captains have when it comes to interacting with other groups? Oh, you definitely have to have a level of respect um, because, yes, it's a competition, but at the end of the day, we're all people and it's a sport. It's fun. It's competitive, you know, and nothing should be taken personally. And I just think like we've competed against each other right. and it has never been right. an issue. So I think a level of respect and more so just sportsmanlike conduct. As a band director, um, you know, when, when you're kind of casting that role of leadership, what are some of the things you're looking for? So I always made sure that the captain's communication was um, like able to be that person that I can go to to get the information. Out. Also, Definitely. the person that knows how to funnel the correct information to me or the drum major, because that leadership role is what sort of establishes the, the levels of like what you want to hold your standards that you want to hold everybody to in that program because that ca the captains are the face of your program when it comes to how you act in school how you prepare how you how you communicate and how you actually execute because they're showing they're setting that standard for everybody yeah, i think that's great and i would say sort of picking up on everything you guys have already said remember it's all about the show OK, I talk to the best instructors and designers all the time, and they always talk about it's not about me. It's not about my design. It's about the show. And that's really true for a yeah. captain. You have to make sure everybody remembers this is about the show. It's not about us and our right. drama or anything that's going on. How can we make the show awesome? Yeah. So we heard from one of the top captains. <laughs> and now you know what to do. If you're a captain, use this advice. Find out more about all this at the March Roundtable. Thanks, everybody. No problem. <laughs>